Hi everyone, this is Kyle with KDebate. I wanted to make a video on what's been happening in the political realm again. Uh, there's a lot of reaction from people responding. Like, it's, it, it's controversy. It, it's all controversy. There's very little information and mass response from people that have no idea what's going on. So you had um, a super PAC release information on Donald Trump's wife. You have Donald Trump... Uh, making veiled threats or direct threats about um, Ted Cruz's wife and Ted Cruz. And then you have, you know, people responding to that. It's like, oh, look at what's happening. What's happening? I don't know who's related to who and who's promoting what. And, you know, he's involved and he's involved and he's not involved and he's not involved. And it's, it's a back and forth of mudslinging, slander, controversial topics being brought up is like does this even matter like you're attacking their wife or you're threatening their wife or you're actually making something or you're not making something it's somebody else saying you're doing it and that kind of situation does not garner a response it does not you shouldn't give a response to that what you should do is you should ask what actually happened who is actually involved what is actually going on and what does that mean is happening? Because if Ted Cruz promoted the super PAC that slandered pretty much Donald Trump's wife, that's important to know. People don't know. They're just assuming, I don't like him, therefore it's true, or I like him, therefore it's not true. That's not how facts work. That's not how arguments work. You are wrong when you do that. Even if you accidentally choose the correct one, you are still not being fair because you're just assuming and that's not how you get discourse. That's not how you have an argument. It's how you yell at people. So that was the first thing that happened. And obviously this is stupid because the people that want to hear about it are going to talk about it nonstop. The people that don't want to hear about it are really going to try to avoid it like the plague because they don't want to hear it. I'm trying to understand it because I don't like it. For, I believe that the entire thing is garbage. Like, And when I say that word, I know Ted Cruz has been using the word, and I'm not using it to reflect what he's saying. I'm saying the entire scenario of one politician running for president and another politician running for president insulting the heck out of each other. The super PAC, whoever was behind it uh, attacking Donald Trump's wife, was wrong to do so. You don't do that. You don't slander somebody's name by implying things. That's not cool. It's not... It's not how fairness works. You're slandering. You're actually insulting somebody. And that's not how you... Like, if you have qualms, if you have an issue with somebody, you articulate that in a way that actually reflects that person. Oh, she's a, a whore, or she's a slut, or she's a, a playboy bunny, or however you want to play it. That's not who they are. If you can say they're, they're not... They're not politically informed, they're not going to be um, good to the people, or they're not going to represent the country in the way you think. You can say those things, but that's not what they were saying. They were implying that this person is going to be a terrible, terrible person because of something they did several years ago, when they could also have said, you know, she has no experience in this, this, or this. And she might, because I don't know anything about her, because nobody has said anything about her. Um, so the next thing that happened, the thing afterwards... Uh, Donald Trump threatened Ted Cruz's wife in some spilled beans quote, and I looked at it. It didn't seem good. I mean, it's like I'm, I'm. If you don't stop, I'm going to do this to your wife. And then he tweeted a picture that was um, his wife next to Ted Cruz's wife, and Ted Cruz's wife it was a very ugly picture. It was not a flattering picture of her. And I saw that as some kind of. It was like a insult. But it didn't really mean anything. Is a picture is worth a thousand words? That doesn't mean what you're. What are you implying? Are you saying she's ugly? Are you saying she's disgusting? Are you saying she's? What are you saying? There's no. It's again. It's just vagueness, and I don't like vagueness when you're trying to. If you're trying to attack somebody's character by actually stating things that they have done, a picture of them making a funny face or them making a funny noise, like in a video, which I've also seen. Uh, of other people doing that, um, those don't mean anything. They, they're they're literally just to get a reaction, to get in, to get people to say, "Oh, look at that!" You know, it's it's 
again, and I know this statement has been used a lot. It's playground bullying. It's playground, you know, ineffectual flailing at each other because you have no idea how to do this. But at the same time, it's extremely, extremely effective. And I don't think that that... It equates to it's stupid, it's childish, and it should be ineffectual. But the people love it. It gets people talking. This is going to be talked about for a long time, even if it stops. It's like, oh, remember this thing that happened? Yeah, that was weird. People are going to be talking about it because it it actually is effective. And it's not just effective on the in, unintelligent. It's not just a, effective on, like, white trash or, you know, the, the, the people that are considered, you know, Jerry Springer level, you know, ooh, it's everyone gets involved because it's being talked about nonstop. Everyone has a desire to see conflict. And I don't like it. I don't think that it's healthy, especially in this kind of arena. But it happens. And a very large majority of people will become involved in this. So after that post came out, there was another post by the National Enquirer, I believe. Uh, I, I need to look that up again. But let's get the names mixed up, that released a, and they're, they're tabloid, and they released a, a story on Ted Cruz's wife, uh, Ted Cruz's mistresses, five, five mistresses. And there, there's been, I've been reading a little bit about it, because again, there's a lot of misinformation going on, and most of it's opinion. It's like, oh, it's true. Oh, it's fact. Oh, it's, it's been disproven. Oh, it's been, you know, proven by this. And no matter what's happening, I can't find a source for any of it. All I see is people saying it's true, but not citing their sources. People saying it's not true, but not citing their sources. The people in the National Enquirer uh, say that it's true. The people that are working with the people in the National Enquirer are saying it's not true. And Donald Trump says he wasn't involved. Ted Cruz said he was. Uh, and now, now, it's saying Marco Rubio's people, but it says allies, and that doesn't mean anything. Who are Marco Rubio's allies? And it's, oh yeah, National Enquirer, okay, there it is. Um, so all the comments, all of them are, it's true, it's not true, why are they doing this? And it's just all misinformation because nobody knows what's going on. And it's it's so immediate. It's like this came out today, like the, the Marco Rubio thing. The other thing happened like two days ago, and then the other thing happened like two days before that. So it's happening really, really, really fast, and nobody has time to digest it. Nobody has time to, like, they're reporting on it. They're talking about it, like the news organizations, but there's no information. There's, it, it's all repetition, and then, well, what is, what, what, what would that mean? And it's, instead of going deeper, they just kind of smear it around. It's... It's like, um, well, so-and-so said this. What are your thoughts on that? But they're asking a person that's not involved. So it's, it's, it's building something that looks like dialogue in the conversation, but these people don't know. You're, it's like asking somebody in sports what you know the, the tax code is like. You, yeah, they can speculate, and they could even be informed on it, but they're not an authority on it. They're not somebody that actually knows. The person they should ask, the people that wrote the article, the people that informed the article that it was happening, because right now, there's really no information on, uh, I think there one person was named and they denied it. They said it wasn't true. Uh, the other four people, nobody seems to know who they are. And it's just, when when people get informed through tabloids and they they effectively say this is true because I want it to be true you are building a narrative that is damaging to people even if it's not even if it ends up dissipating because it's either not true or nobody cares you're you're still like in this arena where popular it's a popularity contest and it's it's always been and it shouldn't be but it it is and you're smearing somebody's character because Ted Cruz Love him or hate him, I honestly don't care. Um, his whole platform is on family values, on knowing the facts of being, you know, him. And when you start changing what that is, it's character assassination. And you have to be factual when related to this. But the people don't care. The people are going to, they're going to hear that, and they're just going to go with it. And it's like, it doesn't matter. The people that support him, 
they're they're fickle. The people that don't support him are fickle. And this goes on every side. It's like if they hear something, they're either going to latch on to it or they're going to completely dismiss it. And different things affect different people. If you, if if he quoted something about killing Muslims or about his uh, about the affair, because people are are angry that he didn't disavow it quickly enough, or he didn't. Uh, why is he being defensive? Like, of course he's going to be defensive. If somebody accused me of that, I'd be defensive as well because it's not true. I in in now in some cases I would just not care. Like, wh whatever you're you're some guy on the sidewalk. I, I, who are you? This is a political campaign where everything that is said and everything that is asked can become a national thing. And in this case, it could become a scandal. Of course, somebody will immediately respond to that. So that is not in itself a fair response. It's like, he shouldn't be defensive. Yeah, he should be defensive because he has to be. Otherwise, people are going to go on the other side of why isn't he being defensive? So... Uh, one person, uh, and I saw this one, only once, but I haven't been... It's hard to read some of these because they're just so samey. Uh, it's like, I hate him, I love him, I hate him, I love him. But somebody comments, he's like, why isn't he threatening legal response to this? It's like, that must mean it's true. That's that's not how that works. Uh, you, you can say it's not true, but there's also no no, no proof right now that Trump actually actually did that. So you can say, well, yeah, he did it, but I don't have any proof. If I sue him for it, that's just going to fall apart because there's, there's no witnesses. There's no, like there might be, but you have to wait. And again, I think that's the important thing we should do is wait. And again, I'm not supporting Ted Cruz or anything like that. I'm just saying that whoever is involved, it needs to be known before people start threatening lawsuits, threatening boycotts, threatening, you know, rallies and all these things. You have to know if you don't know, you don't know. But if you think you know, and then you start acting on that thought, you might destroy a whole bunch of things that they could be completely innocent. Donald Trump and Ted Cruz could be innocent of this. And Marco Rubio could be innocent of this. It could just be people throwing names everywhere. It's like, oh, this person's important right now. Let's drag him through the mud for a while to get people to buy our magazine or for people to click on our links and people to read our videos and watch our videos. Sorry. And that's what happens is that people don't care and you can you can write the most egregious lies and as long as it's written as maybe then you're fine you have no liability whatsoever unless people can prove that your intent was to misinform and that's really really hard to do because right now there's no information so it's speculation that's why they do interviews that's why they do quotes that's why they do things that are like well so and so speculated and that's a big word speculated it's like or or um there, there was a couple of other ones that i saw it was um apparently or you know maybe or, or it's like so and so mentioned, and you can have you can interview somebody specifically for them to mention something, and they say, "Hey, look, they mentioned it." It's a tactic, and it's not truthful. So, these over the past week or so, and, and over the couple of months, people have been saying they've been talking about the thing, and I have no idea what that is, but apparently, it's a thing. Anyone could have been promoting that, and I don't know. Nobody knows who was promoting it, so it just came out of places. So. When you don't know something this big, something that five affairs, uh, somebody threatening their wife, somebody falsifying five affairs to slander somebody else's name, if any of that is true, it needs to be addressed. If it's false, we need to figure out where it came from. Because if you don't know where it came from and you're speculating, you're not fixing anything. You're, you're garnering views for yourself at the expense of other people. I don't like a lot of the things that are happening in this election. I believe that a lot of the elections have the same thing. But this one has gotten to the point where it actually feels less like an election and more like a schoolyard kind of look at me look at me, they smell bad. And it's, both sides have been doing it, though one of them more aggressively than the other. And it's it's fallen apart. And I think a lot of people love that. They want it. They want blood. And it's, it's very unhealthy, especially in this level. And I keep saying that, this level. When it's really small and doesn't matter, it's still wrong. But this could 
potentially destroy lives on a massive scale. So this is not something that we need to take lightly, that we just respond to without actually thinking about it. And I have to be very clear on this. I have to be as clear as I can be. When this started, people need to look into it. They should have been looking into it instead of just repost, repost. Look at this, comment on that. And there's no depth. It's all just being smeared across the internet. And every time something new comes up, there's a million more people posting about it and there's it's not answering anything. Nothing is being answered. I wanna know who posted, I don't even know who the super PAC, I, I know it's Make America Awesome or something like that, that super PAC, who funded them? I don't see anyone asking that question anymore. People were at first when Ted Cruz said it wasn't him and then Donald Trump saying that Cruz did it himself. Okay, that needs to be answered. It has not been, as far as I can tell, not in a global arena. There, It's not been part of the conversation. It might have been answered somewhere. It probably has been, but I haven't seen it. No one cares anymore. They're on to the next thing. Next thing, who, um, who started that National Enquirer, who informed the National Enquirer, uh, National Enquirer about the, the sex scandal with the five women? Who started that? Who did that? I want to know. And now they're saying Marco Rubio's people did it. But originally it was Donald Trump's people. And then Donald Trump was saying that it was just because Cruz did it. And then it it doesn't get an answer. It's people and people everywhere say they have the answer. They know the answer. It's It's either this, 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 or this. And no one actually knows. And it's kind of sickening because it's so easy for somebody's life to be completely destroyed because of this kind of stuff. And there's people on both sides that are saying stop, that are saying we need to understand this before we start making it national news again. And because it's happened so many times before and people don't care. They don't want to care. They want, they want that feeling of self-righteous, I knew it. Or, oh my God, can you believe it? Or, you know, look at them squirm and beat each other up. It's so entertaining and I hate it. I hate it because it's so, it's so, it makes me feel like the human race is just these, these, these bloodthirsty kind of, I want others to suffer for my enjoyment. And you know, the, the Roman gladiator arenas and the, you know, people just rallying for blood or people just, and I know those are missing, missing, interpreted as well, but it's just that idea in my head of people going to these rallies just to see the fights or people watching the news just to see what the next person's going to say about the other person. It's like, what are you doing? These, these people are going to lead the country. These people are going to represent the country. They're going to be able to declare war. They're going to be able to just do all of these powerful things. And you're, you're, you're on Jerry Springer level. You're on I'm 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 going to vote for whoever can insult better or whoever wins this this mud fight and it's not it's not healthy it's not good and um I'm going to start repeating myself if I don't end this now so um those are my thoughts is we need to think way more than we have been everybody everybody and I know it's not going to happen and it's really frustrating but it's frustrating because I want to tell people and nobody's listening. So uh, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I hope it was informative. I hope it, you enjoyed the video. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next video. And peace.